is in your book. OK, and this is coming from where? The zoomed version of these endpoints. Look, they're looking like grapes. Yes, and when you zoom in more. You get this. OK, now from this diagram. This is similar, correct? Yes, correct. Now I will tell you what happens inside this air bag. OK, now who can tell to understand this? If you don't know diffusion, you will not understand. Who can tell me? Jamal, can you tell me what is the meaning of diffusion? No, not Jamal, Ibrahim, Hima. Yes, sir, I answered twice, Mr. Yes. Ibrahim. Mr. Kamal. Okay, go on. Diffusion is moving particles from high concentration into lower concentration. Yes. High concentration, you are moving. What is the meaning of high concentration, Adam? Like wah, the wah, source wah. of it. Ah, source of it. Not at all. Who will answer? No one. Osama, I, I oh, what's your answer? What is the yes. meaning of high concentration? It's like you have a lot of it, like compact together. We can say a lot of it. I agree with that. And what is low concentration? Not a lot of it. The no, number of the particles. For example, when you go to the mall. OK. See, so happy. When you go to the mall inside, you have so many people. And so many people are concentrated at the area of shopping complex. But at the road. Do you have so many people or in the highway at one place? No, they are moving. No. Yani in, for example, you have a market, you have big market and inside you have thousands of people. Within this same area, yes, so it is very, very crowded. But when you have road. Or an open ground. So some people are here, some are here, some are here, some, some are, are here. OK, so it is low concentration. Yeah. Low concentration. OK, this is high, high concentration. concentration. So low Meaning concentration what? means uh, so low concentration means like uh, not a lot of people are in the same area. Yeah. Not a lot of things are in the same area. I'm yes, I'm giving you example of people. But now when we will study this diagram. We will discuss about high concentration of not people of oxygen and low concentration ah. of oxygen. OK. Oxygen. So if something is moving from high concentration to low concentration, this process is known as what, Jamal? Diffusion. The, the fusion. Okay. So in biology, you have to remember the rule. In biology, things will not move from low to high concentration. Clear? They will move from where Clear. to where? High to low. High, high to, to low. To lower. Okay. I was going to say the fusion. What? Not diffusion. High to low. OK, so now. This is air sac and outside okay. air sac. Do you see some blood pipelines going through? Yes. They yes. are surrounded. They are surrounding the air sac, correct? Yes. yes. Now. This inside structure is uh, until here only this. This is the ball like structure that you see inside. OK, and these outside pipelines, blood pipelines that you see, they are here. This. Yes. Please pay attention carefully. If you will look here and there, or if you will look in your mobile, you will not understand this whole concept. But if you stay with me for two minutes, three minutes, inshallah, you will okay. remember this concept for a very long time, not only for grade seven. Maybe you will remember in grade eight also this concept, the way I'm, how I'm going to explain now. 
ready yalla yeah, ready okay yeah. so these pipelines that you have in your body they are everywhere they are carrying yes. blood to your different organs okay yes. so similarly blood is flowing here okay not here because the here air is flowing because this is yes. because this is coming from your bronchus and bronchioles this pipe yes this yes. is coming from where from your bronchus so this is air you don't have uh, uh, blood here okay okay you okay now what is the special thing just imagine the blood that is coming here this initially does not have a lot of oxygen why because it is coming from your different heart. parts of the body to get the yes coming from the heart also to get what to get oxygen now basically now look at this oxygen. portion i am telling you only for this portion okay and then i will tell you what okay. is happening in this portion so in this portion oxygen is very less the oxygen is very less sir because it is deoxygenated very good so oxygen is very less but carbon dioxide is too much in in this when it enters the air sac when it passes near the air sac okay and now tell me the air that we took in our lungs just now it contains more okay. oxygen and less carbon dioxide correct yes correct okay so let me write it inside oxygen is more and carbon dioxide is less now jamal tell me within my rectangle that i have created mm -hmm. for oxygen diffusion where is high concentration and where is low concentration of concentration of oxygen in blue color or in black color where is high concentration of oxygen in uh, blue color blue color i think I wrote the arrow downwards. What is the meaning of downwards arrow? It means the the amount is very less. It's low concentration. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. So where is the high concentration? In the air that we just inhaled. Yeah. So what will happen? Diffusion will take place. So this oxygen yes. will try to move where? Inside the pipeline. The blood. Yes. Inside Why? The Because of diffusion laws. because of the rule of diffusion correct so oxygen will go will try to go inside the pipeline correct yes correct to take to to perform the diffusion okay now think about carbon dioxide where is the high high concentration of carbon dioxide in the blue color in the pipeline wait i have a call sorry sorry wait wait one minute okay ji okay i'm back so what i was saying now opposite things are yes i i am i audible yeah, yeah so just imagine opposite things are yes, taking sir. place and oxygen will try to move from this air bubble to the pipeline correct okay. but carbon dioxide look carbon dioxide is high here so it will go up and carbon dioxide is low here so where will carbon dioxide try to move within this air sac in the opposite direction carbon dioxide will try to come here is everyone following or am i running too fast no uh, we are following now following okay now following. so that's why this is known as gas exchange now you understand okay okay so did you get this type of explanation in the class maybe no. yes no no okay so in then other what way, we have but like the same thing the same thing okay so in this way you have seen practically how gas exchange takes place so that means in the in this first in this first area in this zone what is happening diffusion is happening 
And then what happens? This pipeline, when it gains oxygen, it transfers it to the other parts of the other body. Part. So okay. The and carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide that is collected in this air sac, what will happen? We will, we, will, we will breathe out. We will breathe out and then take fresh air. Okay. So this process goes quickly and quickly and quickly. But there is one important thing to remember. This whole process requires only less than few seconds. And how much fast? Look. Like this. Alas, finish. So now think for a second. If this process is happening so fast, you will think that how it is possible that oxygen is going in the pipeline and carbon dioxide is coming in the air sac and thrown out of the body. You will think, yes, that how it is possible so quickly. But the reason is this wall, this layer, you see the layer inside of this air sac. This yes. layer is very, very thin. That's why it is easy for the diffusion to take place. OK, this wall is very thin. But if this wall, wall was thick, the diffusion will not take place easily, which will be which will be problematic be for us. Further. Yes. So because our body will do a lot of effort to catch oxygen. OK, this will be problematic. OK, okay. that's why if, if the teacher asks you. That. How alveolus structure helps diffusion faster. OK, for example, the teacher asks you what? How? How alveolus structure? How helps. structure of alveolus How structure of alveolus helps in quick diffusion. What will you write? One reason is the inside walls of okay. the alveolus are very thin material. Okay. The inside walls of alveolus is very thin. They can enter easy. I will write it. I will write it. The answer is the inside walls of alveolus have or oh, are very thin. Oh. OK, so this is the answer that you have to remember. OK, let's move on. OK, I, so I explained the process of gas exchange. OK, so I, I hope it was clear. Everyone, Osama, Badr, everyone, Adam. OK, OK, so let's go to the following questions. But Ibrahim is not re replying. What happened? Maybe he's doing something or uh, like sleep. Or maybe he's far from the mic. Maybe on Mars. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, th I think he's I think he's in the bathroom. Mister. Alas, OK. Describe the main problem of asthma medicine. Uh, I think I know. This one I don't know because I did not talk, teach this uh, Mr. lesson. Mr. Mr. Can I answer? Okay, like answer. Get, getting it in the lungs. Getting it in the lungs? Yes. Is this answer correct, other students? Yes, yes, mister, no. because in the book there's like, the, yes, yes, because uh, the main problem in asthma medicine was getting the medicine to the lungs. It's written in the book, mister. Who is saying no? Adam or Riyadh? No, Adam, Adam let me. Adam, why no? Adam, why no? Because, mister, I remember it's not like this in the book. Osama, can you tell me the page number of the book so I can bring it on the screen quickly? Okay, wait. 105. 105. Okay. 105. Okay, I have it. I have it now. You have the book, Mister? Ah. I have all the resources. What do you think? OK, now this is the screenshot and coming on your screen. OK. 
Where? Yes, on the left side or the right side? I think the right. In the box. Getting medicine to the lungs. Ta 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 ta. Getting medicine. Adam, <laughs> what's the correct you know, answer? Mr. You know, Mister Adam, have a asthma. Really? Yes, and he don't know how I don't. Ah, Adam, please answer. We want answer. What, Mister? What what Riyad is saying is correct. Yeah, I have it. So it can be treated or it stays with you forever. What is the issue? I think it maybe stays like, forever. I think, I think it's forever, Mister. So that means you just have to be like very careful throughout your life. Yeah. Oh. So the answer given looks correct here. That the problem with asthma medicine is that getting the medicines down to one problem for doctor treating asthma was getting the medicine down to where they are needed engineer design inhaler but where is lungs written who was saying lungs oh getting medicines to the lungs one problem for doctor treating asthma was getting the medicine down to where they are needed. engineers design inhalers medical devices which work with our natural breathing treatment and even do the airways okay jamal what was your answer right of this Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me look at the question one more time. Let me look at that. Describe the main problem of the asthma medicine. Yes. What was I, the answer? I, I Can you repeat, the, Osama? Osama I said, said or getting, Jamal get, answer? Who answered? Me, 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 me. It, it, it was it was getting okay. the answer, getting the medicine to the lungs. Yeah, Jamal. that's what I said. Okay. Yani, this asthma problem is of the lungs, correct? Mm. So if you have problem of an organ. The medicine should reach that organ. Otherwise, how will you treat it? So asthma is a problem of lungs. So to it's cure not, that issue. Asthma. Oh, in India we say asthma, but in like we have different pronunciations. So say how you are saying already. Okay, don't change your pronunciation now. Okay. <laughs> so to treat or cure asthma, we need to put the medicine in the lungs. Correct? But how will you put medicine in the lungs? The lungs are inside your body. They are not outside. You put injection or something. Yes. So what are the ways the doctors have uh, used to break, to take the Indeed. medicine to the lungs? One is inhaler. OK, when you inhale something with medicine, definitely it, it will go in your lungs. So this is one good method. OK, inhalers. What is the other thing? Medical devices which work out with natural breathing to deliver medicines deep into the airways. So you did you guys understand that this is the biggest problem yes, to, cure, to cure the lungs. We have to bring the medicine to the lungs, but that is a challenge. OK, this is what the question was asking. Correct. Correct. So let's move on. Uh, what is given here? Uh, the inhaler. Uh, so, Adam, are you using this also? Yeah, Inhalers? Yeah, I have. Yeah, oh. he, I, 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 he have it, Mr. I saw it in school, Mr. So, I think, I think it is used when you have like some hiccups or coughing. I think, if I'm not Don't wrong. See the first page. See the first page. See that, like that. This? Yeah. yeah. This is the throat, yeah, when you have an asthma attack. So the, they, it, they become narrow. So it is difficult yeah. to like breathe, to breathe, breathe. because yeah. it becomes blocked. Yeah, so obviously you oh. can't move. And like if everyone health, good health. But there is one more guy among us. Mr. Marwan. Oh, Marwan Hello. Hello, Mr. Oh, hey, Hello, Marwan. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> no, the last video. Ah, he was there yet that day. Yeah, I know, I know. So Marwan, you will stay here or you will leave? Uh, yes. Stay here. 
you will stay okay so i will just repeat quickly some small answers okay because we are we are like in the starting of the first page okay marwan you can hear me but the adan is laughing i don't know why okay so marwan define gas exchange this is the first thing gas exchange means in your air sac when you take okay. in oxygen and when you release carbon dioxide yeah. okay that process is known as gas exchange next explain the difference between aerobic respiration and breathing okay so respiration you already know aerobic respiration you take oxygen to break down glucose yeah. <laughs> and other things to make uh, okay. that uh, carbon dioxide okay. and water yeah. and energy but breathing is just you take in air you throw out air but i told one more thing to the students that in the respiration one of the steps is breathing yani breathing is a part of respiration okay okay next describe an alveolus do you know where is alveolus in the lungs yeah uh, uh, inside the lungs but at the end it's inside at okay the, but at the last uh, end okay at the last and they look like grapes okay yeah like this okay so explain how the structure of an alveolus relates to its function in the body do you know this answer have you written it already or not yet no. these answers which one sir which one the d one the d marwan did you write this no d no adnan you can take from adnan okay he has the I don't know five or eight lines for this answer. Adan, <laughs> please share your answer in the group now. Mister, I wrote, I wrote, Mister, on uh, D, I wrote big surface area equals from gas exchange. A lot of them uh, from gas exchange. Is it correct, okay. Mister? Big surface area. Uh huh. I need to look into it with. Yes, yes, correct. The structure of alveoli. Ah, there is a whole chapter named structure of alveoli. Yeah. Listen. Oh, this diagram is already in in your book. Why did I bring it from Google? This one. Yeah. Uh, this one. This one is already in your book. This diagram. And there's a disease, the COPD. COPD, yes. chronic obstructive pulmonary disease hmm so each together the alveoli have a huge surface area yes yeah, so jamal you said huge surface area it's also given in the book okay so did uh, yes adnan sent the answer in the group okay so you can no, take from him I think yours is also similar. If you want yes, to send, but, okay, but send. mine uh, mine is much shorter, Mister. <laughs> by, by a lot, Mister. For the but people, for the people who want to learn small answers, huh? That's good for mm -hmm. them. <laughs> okay, quickly, I am going now to other questions because we have so many pages. Okay. Now, E describe the main problem of asthma okay. medicine. The main problem is that. This. Yes, we answered it just now, Marwan. I will just say it one more time. Asthma is a problem for which organ? For, for the, uh, the airway. The yes. The no, for the no, airways, the, but but for the lungs, or not? Yeah. For the lungs. Yeah, yeah, for the lungs. So, yes, sir, can I answer? If you eh? want to cure, if you want to cure, or uh what is the other word for cure and if you want to improve the condition of lungs you have to put the medication in the lungs yes. so this is the biggest challenge for asthma medicine okay to okay. pass it down to the lungs that is the biggest challenge okay yes. now f this yes. is Me 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 me. Can I answer? Athletes sometimes train at high altitude for a few weeks before a competition. Can I answer? Can I answer? 
Yes. I don't understand this question. Because they're th they because let me, let me, they let me, are... Let me, let me explain the question. Okay. Then you can answer. See, athletes are what? Like the sports players, they train very high. Okay? They like do a very months. hard training. Now, to, to get even more tough and difficult training, what they do? They go to high altitude. High altitude means what? At the mountains, at the high places. Thinner air. Uh, yeah, I know. You give thinner air. Now, Jamal, give the answer. Uh, because they 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 turn. Uh, what? Wait, wait. Because they uh, they throw their lungs for their uh, to get salvation. Yes. I don't know what I wrote, Mister. They throw the lungs. Yani they put the hand in their mouth. They remove their lungs. <laughs> and they say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun and they die yes mr can I, can i answer can i answer jamal you will you will take me to jail what are you doing in my class <laughs> yes osama that's, that's what i lost on the question mr. please please don't write in the exam the teacher will call you separately tal jamal what is this <laughs> can i answer mr yes 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 Mr. They, uh, they train their lungs at high altitudes because uh, oxygen there is lesser. It's more thin and harder to breathe. Like at Mount Everest, there is barely oxygen. So when you train your lungs at high altitudes, you can like breathe even when there is not a lot of oxygen. Not a lot of oxygen. Yeah. Yes. Did anyone write something uh, like with new points? Like something which he didn't mention. Does anyone want to add something or we move on? Move because on. his answer is he's looking like satisfactory. He mentioned the points that since the oxygen is so low, and when we train in that situation, we become even more stronger. I think it will become bigger. I don't know. Because uh, I'm looking, if the lungs are becoming bigger, I'm not sure about that. Or Mr. more maybe tougher. tougher. Let me check. It's given on on what page? I'm uh, checking. One hundred and eight and one hundred and nine. Like we said, take more uh, red blood cells. One hundred eight. Adaptation to audit. People born at sea level find it hard to get an okay. Uh, Is a sahar khata. See, Mr. 109 up, up. These I see up, I see up. These adaptations include large yeah. rib cage, more small airways and alveoli in the lungs, extra capillaries in the lung, many extra red blood cells. Yeah. Okay, so let me bring it here. Yani, these are the properties of which people? Those who are born in Living the... In mountain. Yes, those who live there. So these are the adaptations that they have. And these things help them survive there. So if we, if the people that are not living in the mountains, if they have, it will be very good for them because they need a lot of oxygen when they are running or performing any sports, high intensity sports, okay? So if you train at high mountains, these are the things that your body can achieve. Okay. Okay. Which will help you in your sports. Okay. So explain how each of the following structural adaptations seen in people born at high altitude help their bodies function and survive. Wow, they are bringing those the same points that we are here we are having here, and then they are asking okay. how. Okay, we have to give explanation. Yani the first large rib cage. It's written in the first one. The more small airways is here and extra capillaries is here. Jamal, what is rib cage? Rib cage, the thing that protects the lungs and the heart and the liver. What, what is that thing? The bones. The bones that surround our lungs. Yes? Or your organs. Yes. And the organs. Yes. No, not all organs. I mean the the yeah. the, the the heart, the lungs, these. Yeah, the, and the liver, I think, too, right? Yeah, the liver, no. 
liver i think comes i need to check because liver comes little bit down yeah down down yeah. of the lungs yes. yeah 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 so liver i'm not sure okay now how is large rib cage rib cage helping very easy if you have large More rib space cage for the lungs have, to yes, stand yes if you have large rib cage your lungs have a Become lot of bigger. space yes uh -huh. your lungs have a lot of space to expand and trap a lot of air and when you inhale a lot of air you can make you can catch a lot of oxygen you can trap a lot of oxygen okay next more small airways and alveoli in the lungs to uh, to make air, 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 air to, to, to gas ex, gas exchange easier uh, to to make gas exchange easier to make gas exchange easier because we have a lot of alveoli and if we have more alveoli the surface area will be more and when mm -hmm. surface area is more we trap a lot of oxygen next is everyone following about the large yes. rib cage and the more small airways yeah. okay yeah okay so now we move on to the extra capillaries in the lungs who will tell this uh, more ways of uh -huh. blood so more uh, oxygen in the in the body yes because when we have more when we have extra capillaries so more blood will be flowing and when more and blood more, is flowing it will trap more. a lot of oxygen yes correct yeah. mr uh, yes see uh, see i don't understand uh, like you know where... not very keen on <laughs> Mr. What's, you know, what's B? What's B in question two? B. B is sm more small airway. So the gas exchange becomes faster to improve the gas exchange. Yes. Uh, gas exchange sir. becomes better. more efficient <sighs> and the last one extra capillaries in the lung when you have extra capillaries more blood more flows blood. then it will be more oxygen yes more oxygen okay so then the jar i don't understand it very well Yes. So, so can I answer eh? Okay, wait. Mr. Mr. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, number B, more small airways. I write bigger surface area for gas exchange. Yes, I, I agree with that. That's, so why I wrote, I wrote, that's why I wrote gas exchange becomes more efficient. I can add it like due to large surface area. Okay, I can so, add this. Okay, so you can note this. Or if you have already written it, okay. Due to so large so wrote, Yes. Mm. So I wrote thinner air makes faster diffusion, so fast gas, uh, gas exchange. Wait, wait, wait. I'm writing and then you have to repeat it. Last surface area. Yes. Say it one more time. Thinner airways make mm -hmm. gas exchange faster. Okay. Faster, more efficient. Okay. Correct. Okay. Now, let me also write faster. Instead of efficient, I will also use the terms that you are using more faster. Okay, now this is okay. a representation of your lungs and the rib cage. Okay, this experiment already, you, I think you have already read it in the book. You have a hollow tube, but bunk is this bunk word or there is a spelling mistake? Bunk, B U N G. Wait, let me check. Let bung, me check what that. is bung, mister? 
Ah, in the book of Hosni Sirichan Bang. It's like it's like a thing that is sealing, that is fixing the trachea in its position. It's like oh. that. Now you have bell jar and balloon, and at the bottom it's a rubber sheet. Rubber sheet is representing which organs of our which organ of our diaphragm, body? Diaphragm. 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 Correct. And balloon? Lung. Lungs. 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 And hollow tube? Uh, Trachea. 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 C H for the Arab world becomes Sha always. Not always. It's sometimes. Like. Like there are only few words in English. When you put CH, they become sha. But mostly the sha is used by the SH in English. Okay. Okay. What happened, Jama? Everything is fine. No, sir. I'm sleepy, sir. Bang like what? Mister, Mister. Bang is like. Jamal has a voice changer every 10 minutes. <laughs> how? How is it possible? Jamal when I move possible. my mic, a, when a I move my mic, mic. My, my voice changes, Mr. How is it possible? Mashallah, mashallah. New technology. Now look, the Riyadh <laughs> is asking why there is a bunk. Now the reason is to seal so that no more like oxygen comes. Okay. It's like it's like it's like holding the trachea in its position. Okay, so they remain still. This is one of the reasons. Otherwise, trachea will fall inside. Okay, with the with the balloons. So to okay. hold it in position, that reason. Okay. 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 Mr. Can now, answer, what eh? are okay? Now, what are the questions they are asking? Which part of the human respiratory system is represented by the hollow tube outside Lachia. the bell jar? Trachea. Okay. Russia? What? Russia? Rubber, uh, rubber sheet is uh, rubber sheet is uh, uh, diaphragm. Trachea. What does the rubber sheet represent? Tra a diaphragm. Jamal, tell me the spelling. D I A D I A P H R A G E A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he already. Saw it long time back. Yes, D I A P H R A G M. The G is silent, it's just written. Otherwise, you will say diaphragm, but the G is silent, so you say diaphragm. Okay, Mr. Without Mr. The sound I, did, I didn't say the G, Mr. I didn't say the G. No one says G, it is silent in this word. Okay, no one says then it. Then why we write it? We write so many letters in English. Yani, we don't read them. Can I answer C, Mr? I, I, wrote, I wrote a whole essay, Mr. for C. Of 250 words? <laughs> Describe okay, what okay. happens Can I when the rubber sheet pulled down. Rubber sheet is pulled down. RIP English. The, the, balloon, the balloon. When the rubber sheet is pulled down and explain why it happens. Okay, now this time, the Badr will answer. Mister. Adam, Mister. Badr? He said Badr, yes. Badr. Okay. I did not say Komeda. I said Badr. Komeda. Yes, Badr. Look at the diagram and tell me what happened when the rubber sheet is pulled down. Yani, when you pull this thing down, then what happens? Mister, if he doesn't know, can I say? No, if he doesn't, if he doesn't say, then I will give another chance to someone else. It, it will contract. Maybe. What? He said it, it will contract. contract. It will contract. What will contract? The balloons. The balloons will become bigger. Yeah. Baluga. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, get Buluga. He traveled the universe, the math universe, to the to the universe. Who, who called Baluga and Baluga is here to give the attendance? Yes, brother. If we pull the rubber sheet down, what will happen? 
It contracts. The, he, he said that it will Not contract. contracts. Contracts is massive. if something is reducing in size. It expands, not contracts. They expand. The balloons so will say, expand. Okay? Can I say my answer? Was... What's your answer? The balloons will uh, will expand because air rush into it will be, uh, into it because there less pressure when it's pulled. Oh, from where did you take that? It's Mr. so I technically. It in the worksheet. Yes, it's correct. Because of the air pressure, when you put it down, the balloons will fill and expand. Brother, okay. Do not write contract when you are pulling the rubber sheet down. When you push it inside, okay, then contract. Okay, so when you put it, what happens? Contract. Expansion. Oh, and expansion, when you push expansion. it inside, it contracts or shrinks contract. in size. Okay, balloons. Okay. Not baluga. Balloons contract. <laughs> And Baluga expand. Baluga. Baluga is also studying today. Yeah, Mister. Look at the nazarat, Mister. Now he is uh, smart. Very daful. Mister, Mister, Baluga is smarter than Yusuf. Yes. And me? So. Chinese Baluga. This is Chinese Baluga. No, okay. Mister. This is Ahmed Fahad Baluga, Mister. He's so smart, Mister. Do not call out names that are not in the class. Okay? Call the names of these eight people only. Apart from these eight people, do not take names. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so describe what happens when the rubber sheet is pulled down and explain why it happens. So the answer is it, it expands. Any the balloon? So do I just write it expands or do I have to explain more? If the teacher asks you, explain, then you... Like they're asking, explain. Then you write the reason. But if she asks you what happens, then you just write balloon. Expands. It depends on the question the teacher is giving the you. Miss, yes? the, uh, the miss said in this worksheet, describe what happens. Okay. So you have to describe it in detail. And why? Then you explain why it happens. Because of the air pressure difference. Okay. How many pages we have? We just finished two. We need to finish this quickly and then we will take a... Small 10 minutes break, okay? After this, fill in the okay. blanks. Mr. Mr. Yes? Mr. Do you know there is a math question in the in the worksheet? The question three. What question? Math question? No, uh, five, five. Question five. Oh, yeah, seven, seven. Graphical question. Okay, we will see it, inshallah. No problem. So here, I think everyone has done it already. Yes, sir. First one, tube, and no. then a uh, gas exchange, and then alveolar. The lungs uh, are, are, are the site of tube. Yes. Where is tube? And the, Mister, do I have a... a no, Mr. Yeah. you have a different yeah. worksheet? Yeah, Mister, you have different no, one. Have a I different use one, the Mister. worksheet that Ismail sent to uh, in the group. No, there is tube. Send me. Uh, send me, send me. It's... Uh, saying trachea also known as wind pipe is a dash carrying air from your nose no no send me send me send me i'll bring it on the screen send me but uh, i solve it ah they send it okay. i'm trying to find the non-answer i send it mister i send it Okay, Riyadh already sent to me. Mr. The Miss didn't send the non answered worksheet, Mr. Mr. The same, the same, Mr. There is no tube. You are sending me the same thing. What is the difference? <laughs> I don't know, Mr. That's how do you guys, you want, you want, how do you guys have something else? Mine? The the miss gave us this on screenshot. No, I sent it. Adnan sent. Okay. Tube, alveolus, 
Let me compare. Exchange alveolus adaptive diffusion. So here, alveolar capillary blood oxygen admission gas diffuse. Diffuser dioxide tube. Okay, yani just one more word has to be added. Yeah. Oh, but the but the it's totally different here. It's trachea here. Yes. It's trachea here and here it's lung site. Okay, so then what should I do? Ah, uh, is everyone having the same? Yes. That yes. Adnan sent. Yes. Well, I don't have no, it. I don't the have it. Like you. Then how Adnan is having different and you guys are having different? Uh, I took it from the, the mess. Yeah, we took yeah. it from the Anand, mess. did you take it from uh, Fukaha or what? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Mr. I took has, it from the mess. Adnan has special uh, powers. <laughs> okay, I will discuss this and Adnan has already sent it in the group. Okay, so you people can uh, go through it. Mr. But I anyways, already answered it. Anyway, can I, can I already, answer five? It's already answered, but I have a technique. I have a comedy technique, you know. Shak 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 abit. Can I answer? Can I answer? Then I will answer from random. Then I will answer from random places. No, no. Yes, sir. Okay, I will give the I numbers. Have the, I have the. Uh, I don't have this uh, worksheet. Many people don't have this. No problem. Uh, but we will discuss it now. Okay. Mister, can I answer? Can I answer the one that has the trachea? <laughs> trachea. First of all, your pronunciation is incorrect. It's in trachea. It's trachea. Ah. Uh, Go for it. It's a tube. Then gas exchange. Wait, wait, wait. I will give the numbers. One, two. Gas exchange. Three, and then uh, I'll be Wait. Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm giving two minutes. Wait, I, I have an idea. No, Mister, okay. Mister, I will Mister, take... there's a problem in the number. Maths guy making silly mistakes. Yeah. That's why. Now clear? Now clear, Miss Sun. Now clear. Now clear. Can I answer? So, trachea, also known as windpipe, is a blood carrying air, yes? No. Tube. <laughs> Tube, yes. Then, gas exchange. Then alveoli and then uh, adapt, adaptation yeah. and then diffusion and then air and With then oxygen. Windpipe is a tube carrying air from your nose down into your chest. Okay, then what happens? The, the lungs gas are the site of, of gas, gas exchange. exchange. So tube, okay, but they can be used once, more than once. Or not at all, Yani. It's not necessary that you have to use all the words. So many words can be extra, okay, to confuse the student. So please take care. It's not necessary to use all the words, okay? Some words are just for confusion. So gas exchange. Gas exchange and then uh, and then alveoli. Which takes and place then... in the alveolus or alveoli? Which one? Alveoli. Alveoli. Jamal, which one is singular and which one is plural? Alveolus is singular or alveoli is singular? Alveoli. Are you rapping? <laughs> Are you rapping? Uh, 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 alveoli. Uh, 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 alveoli. Rapping. Alveolus is the plural. No, 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 no. Oh. What comes? What comes? At the end of the alveolus? Alveoli. Clear? Alveolus. S for singular. Okay. So just remember like this. Alveoli is plural.
Okay, alveoli okay. and then uh, adaptation and then diffusion and then air and then oxygen and then dioxide. There are millions then... of these tiny sacs which have a number of adaptation. What? Adaptation. Which have a number of adaptations. Yes. And yes. then diffusion and then air and then oxygen. Who said no. adaptation? Me. No, Adnan. Why not? Capillary. No, capillary is uh, number nine. Why capillary is number nine? You can use it more than once, bro. There are millions of okay. these times. Okay, these answers that Adnan has given. Are they these answers coming from the teacher or only from Adnan? Adnan. Okay. Did the teacher did the teacher give you these answers? No. No. Then where are the answers from the teacher? No one has it. No one has it. Okay, let me open. Wait, wait. Let then let me open the page where you have the lesson because I I don't think so. You have adaptation here, Yani. I don't get it. How adaptation is working here? Let me check wait in your book. Me too, Mr. I don't understand. Yes, adaptation, I'm not getting what that point. Adaptation, huh? adaptation means when there are some changes, then your body transforms or changes itself as per the environment. So it's wrong. Uh, I don't think it's looking suitable. Let me look at the, the, the description given in the book. Let me check. If adaptation is given, okay, I will say it okay. But currently, I think that's not looking very like correct to me. Still, I'm searching. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, this is 5.5 lesson. Hmm. Is it correct or? Wait. The book. Okay. Carrying your nose, the gases are the site of gases. The lungs are a site of gas exchange, which takes place in the alveoli. There are millions of these tiny sacs. Okay. Number of adaptation. No, it doesn't fit. The same bronchi, they make you Okay. Wait, it is. I will check that, okay? I okay. will check that. Uh, I'm keeping that still. As much as oxygen. A diffusion from air. So, as much oxygen diffuses. Diffuses, then air, and then from the Wait, wait, wait. Air. So, you are telling me there are millions of these tiny cells which have a number of this. So, as much as oxygen diffuses. Okay, this one is looking good. What was the answer? From the air. Diffuses? Yes. Okay. Diffuses from air. the air. Air. Air looks good. Air to be to be, to be oxygen. As possible to carbon. Oxygen dioxide. as possible? No. To be blood. Blood, mister. From the air. To blood, blood, mister. Blood. Blood. To be blood. What English is written here? German. Ah, Ger German influenced <laughs> English, yes. So as much oxygen. Why in Munich English, huh? So <laughs> Lewandowski English. No, but he's from Poland. From Poland. Yeah. I know, but he was playing. So as Mr. much oxygen. Ah, Muller and Goretzka and these all gonna be. So as much oxygen diffuses from the air to be oxygen. What to be oxygen? Blood. Doesn't make any. I don't know. I answered this, sir. I wrote this. Blood. I wrote blood and then from I the air and... to. Maybe instead of B, it will be the. 
so that as much oxygen diffuses from the air to the to the what? To the blood. To the I wrote blood first, and then I wrote oxygen. That's possible. Carbon dioxide. Okay, this one is no brainer. No brain is required. Blood in the capillary. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood in the capillaries that surround the dash to the air inside them. Miss, I wrote I, I, on uh, number 10, I wrote alveoli. Wait, wait, wait. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood in the capillaries that surround the alveoli to the air inside them. Correct. Okay, I got it. So the answer will be diffuses from the blood in the capillaries because I told you here. Look. Yes. What did I tell you? What is the name of this pipeline? These pipelines are capillary. Yes. Right. Okay, so carbon dioxide, what did I tell you? It's going from where to where? Where is high concentration? In the capillary, and the, the capillary high concentration air. is there. In the air, it's low concentration. Low so what will happen? From the capillary to the air, the diffusion takes place. Yes? Is everyone following? From the capillary yeah. to the air. Now let's come to the last statement. Diffuses from the blood in the capillary. What did Adnan write here? Okay, he wrote capillary also. Okay, this one looks good. So I will write it also. Capillary. Capillaries. Okay. That surrounds the alveoli. Yes, capillaries. That surround the. Yes, it was surrounding the alveoli. And what did Adnan write here? Alveoli. Okay, that's correct. But for that one, I'm still, Yanni, I need some reading or you guys can also check. Now we will take a 10 minutes break. We will be right back after the small break, inshallah, okay?
Okay, so we continue. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. What about others? Quickly give your names who are ready. Yes, yes Mr. I'm here, I'm okay. here. Okay. Adnan, brother. Mr. Mr. I'm here. Hello, Mr. Ismail. Can you hear me, Mr. Hello, Mr. Yes, Hello? Yes. yes. Ready? We continue now? Yeah, yes, we. Yes, okay. So. This one I still this one I still can't get from the given options. I don't get this option still. You need to look for this uh, answer with, with with your teacher, okay? There are millions of these tiny sacks wow. which have a what how? How do we do it with the teacher if the exams come? No, you can send this one your your uh, worksheet and ask for this option that miss what will come in this option you can ask her okay mister if you ask her she will respond after three days please i don't get your voice hello mister can you hear me mister yes yeah. Uh, can, 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 can I answer number one, Mr. Can, can. There is a graph now, but on this graph, I will ask some points, some questions from yeah. my side. Yeah. Ready? Because now yeah. it's my field. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the X axis telling you? What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, is ten is telling us the gram. Yes, the gram of fiber in daily diet. Osama, I was asking this that the x axis. What is x axis? X axis is this, and y axis is this. Y. Correct? Yes. Yes. Even though it is not mentioned, but it is the rule. Like we have this rule, common sense. That this one we take X and this one we take Y. Okay. Now, is this line, is this slope going downwards or upwards? Downward. Upwards? Yes. Is it down? Down. So downwards. Okay. So oh, downwards. Okay. So at. Okay, but if I ask you at 10, how will you give me the answer? Because there are no. Uh, markings given. One point eight seven five. For which one? For the ten. For the, For the ten. ten. What's your answer? One point. One point seven five. One point seven five. Six five six five. One point six five. How are you so six sure? Eight. Do you six do you have eight. any answer here? No, Mister. One point six eight. See, this is one. This will be 1.5. So this looks like not 1.75 because 1.75 should be exactly in the middle. Something less, like 1.7 roughly. 1.7, something like that. Okay. What about 20? Let me make the line and then we will think. 1.5. Yeah. Yes, 1.5. 1.5. Uh, Think like this. It's slightly less than 1. 1.5. 1.4. 1.4. 1.47. 1.47. Or... <laughs> wow, so precise answer, huh? 4 8. 1.48. Mashallah. Father is even more precise. 1.48. Okay. Now come back to the question of the worksheet. Mar Marwan, are you there? 
Yeah, Mister. Adam. I'm here, Miss. Ibrahim. Mister, can I answer? Who is this? Mister, can I answer? Mister, can I answer? Mister, can I answer? Mister, me me answer. Me me uh, Mister. Me me, me answer. <laughs> Describe so what the data shows in the graph about the effect of eating plenty of fiber on the risk of dying from colon cancer. Can I answer? But let me let me get the answer in my mind. Let me check. Risk of dying of colon cancer percentage. The risk more of fiber. Dying. Fiber in daily diet. Yani if you are increasing the fiber, the rate is high. No, the rate is low. Yani if you eat more fiber, the risk of dying with colon cancer is very less. If you eat more, it will be less in cancer. Yes. How, how do we get that data? Look, we are increasing from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40. And what is happening? The line is going down. But if the line was going up, it means what? The risk is becoming more. But that will not happen because I think fiber is like good for the body. OK, so Jamal, what was your answer here? What did you write? Uh, uh, the more fiber that is in your body. Ooh. The, the wait, 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 let me say that. Let me say that. The more, the more fiber that's that that is out dies. What did I write, sir? Out dies. Dies. And you put hand in your lungs and you take it out. What are you writing, Mister? I don't know. <laughs> Leave, 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 leave. Osama, go for it. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Do I answer the question? Yes, answer. What do you understand from this graph? Okay. So here, the more like fiber you uh, get from like olives, I think there are a lot of things that give fiber. The more fiber, the less chance of you getting colon cancer. Because if you draw a line to the from 60 to that line, then to the percentages, it's really low. Yes. That's the so what's the answer, Mister? I don't understand anything. See, Riyadh, there is a comparison given to you that if you eat, or if you take only 10 gram of fiber, fiber, okay. The risk of dying from cancer is how much? You have 1.7% chance, very less chance. But if you take 20 gram fiber, what is the risk of dying from whole, this cancer? 1.4%. So as you are increasing the quantity of fiber, what is happening? The risk decreasing of dying the is decreasing. The risk of yes. dying from colon cancer is decreasing. Meaning what? The more fiber you take, it is good for your colon. And where is colon situated? In the large intestine. Okay, where is colon located? I will bring one photo. Which you call it intestine or intestine? What do you call it? Intestine. 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 intestine huh? Okay. It is the time. It is the time. Okay, I will show. I found the best answer. The best answer. I will send you in the book. This one is the colon. Okay, this is the large intestine. And inside you have what? In middle you have what? In domi, you have small intestine here. Okay. Okay. It's very, very long. Okay, so this answer is clear to everyone. Mr. Riyadh, is Riyadh is sending something. Yes, I know, I know, I have this already in the book. I have that.
and I will show you what your book says about this. That the more fiber you take, the less chance you have for this cancer, colon cancer. Okay, look. Look, everyone. For example, the data collected from all over the world suggests what? Suggests that having plenty, plenty means what? A lot of fiber in your diet reduces your risk of dying from colon cancer. Okay, cancer. that's the answer. Okay, next. Now you have bone diagram. Lack uh, of vitamin D and lack of calcium both causes rickets. Because Explain the how they are linked. The answer on page 121. Uh, but you know the answer. I don't know, but the, the page is the same. Uh, yes. Figure. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Can I answer? Oh, you are answering so many things today. Mr. I'm too bored. Too bored? Yes, Mr. I wrote vitamins to be used as slipped <laughs> calcium and uh, is is used for strong bones if they're not if there no vitamin D there is no calcium which loads to trick. Huh? Story, not an <laughs> yes, story. Can I give my answer? Jamal, you are bored now after this explanation. Now I'm feeling bored. Mister, uh, it's like if my friend tells Stop. me uh, can I the give story my of the, the three pigs. The story of what? The three pigs. The story of the three pigs. <laughs> Mister, can I give my answer? I need to go and then we'll now. Yes, tell me. Okay, so lack of vitamin D and lack of calcium both causes rickets. They are linked because vitamin D is needed for the bones because it absorbs calcium. So calcium and calcium makes bones strong. So vitamin D absorbs calcium to make calcium make your bones strong. So if you don't have calcium, if you don't have vitamin D, you don't have calcium. So calcium is coming from vitamin D. This is what you are telling. That from vitamin no. D, then what? What are you saying? Vitamin D absorbs it. So if you have okay. vitamin D, this from is absorbing. Food, okay. Vitamin yes. D is absorbing what? Calcium. Yes. Okay. Then what? Which makes on calcium makes your bone strong. Okay. Yani, if we don't have vitamin D, then who will absorb calcium? No one. Nothing. And when no calcium is absorbed, our bones will be weak. Weak. Yes. This is what you said. Yes. Get rickets. Yes. And when we have no calcium, our bones will be very weak and like painful. Yes. Let's yes. see. Let's see what is given in this description. Calcium is needed for making strong, healthy bones. Okay. There is a lot of calcium in dairy products such as milk, yogurt, cheese. Oh, so, Laban, without calcium, you get to calcium. You are born, you are born. In those dairy products, they say that there is calcium, right? If there is no vitamin D, you can't absorb the calcium in there. And even if we drink milk, it's yes. not beneficial to us because if we don't have vitamin D, who will yeah. help this calcium to enter our bones? This yeah. And Nothing. to absorb Yes, that's absorb and di absorb and then digestive system. No absorbing. So this is so important. And Mr. what is the so biggest what source is of the vitamin answer? D? What is the vit biggest source of vitamin D? Yogurt sunlight. Cheese. Sunlight. The sun. The sun. Uh, Shams. Marwan, you are asking something. Yeah. So what is the answer? Okay, I'll, I'll give you the easy uh, pill. Okay, both lack okay. of calcium and lack of vitamin D causes rickets. So what do we have received from Osama? He's saying that our body requires vitamin D and that vitamin D will absorb the calcium that, that we take in milk. Okay, 
in yogurt, in dairy products. Okay? Yani milk is giving our body what? Calcium. But is this calcium going to our bones directly? No. No. Why? Because we need vitamin D or vitamin D to absorb the calcium. And if vitamin D is missing in our body, but we take calcium, 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 calcium. Is it beneficial? No. No. You need both of them. You need vitamin D also. You need calcium also to make the bones stronger sure. and develop. Okay, Marwan? But if vitamin D is missing, calcium is missing, that will be very, very problematic for our bones and can cause yeah. brain uh, uh, bone problem. And what is the name of the bone problem? Rickets. Rickets. Marwan, do you get an idea? Yeah, yeah. Yes. If you can have you, rickets, can you Mr. Say, can you say Crabs. Huh? Yes. Mr. If there Mr. is, uh, the body requires vitamin D. The vitamin D absorbs the calcium that uh, uh, that we found from the milk and yogurt. Yes. If there is no vitamin D, uh, source, uh, the, so there is no calcium. So we ha we will. Uh, no, we'll have it's not like vitamin D is not there, so calcium is not there. Calcium is still there, but it cannot be absorbed. Yani it, our bones cannot get benefit from it. That's the thing. So the bones have the vitamin D to absorb the calcium. I think that. I think, yeah. And a diagram is given Mr. here. Let's put it into an equation. No vitamin D, no calcium. Easy. No vitamin D, no calcium. No calcium, no strong bones. Okay, about vitamin D, it's given above. Okay, I'm bringing the screenshot. So it will be very easy now. Now let's see it. Okay, what is the function of vitamin D? Let's see. Vitamin D helps your bones absorb the calcium, okay? So yeah. we have a bone. We have? We have a bone. Okay, now this bone needs to become, needs to develop, needs to become stronger and get energy. Now this bone can absorb what? Calcium. Calcium, yes. But to, to absorb that calcium, what is the condition? Our vitamin D, vitamin D is the helping agent. Yes. Vitamin D is the helping Help agent. The agent. So vitamin D helps your bone absorb the calcium. They need to, hard, to become hard and strong. Okay, so calcium needs to go inside. But who is the helping agent who helps it? Vitamin D. Now definitely, if there is no vitamin D, who will push the calcium inside? No one. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. That's why it is. So we need both of the things. But if we have vitamin, a lot of vitamin, but we don't have calcium, then what will go inside? Then it is also a problem. So we need both of them. The shortage of any one of them will create trouble and can cause bone problems such as rickets. Okay. Now, risk of disease mass. linked to BMI. Now, uh, we have very thin, underweight, normal, overweight, obese, and morbidly. Wow. Okay. Mr. What, uh, is, the most what is BMI? Mr. I think uh, it's blood to mass uh, or body mass index, blood. I think. Yes, yes, uh, body mass index. Oh. What do you say? One, two, three. But this diagram. Mr. The step in page one, two, three. You can uh, know. Now, risk of disease linked to BMI. Now, you guys, do you know that for every height, you have different weight for yeah. average? Yani if your height is something like 150, so 150 to 155 something, then 
you will have some mass that you should have like from like muscle 60 to 63. I'm giving a rough example, OK? And if you have a height between 155 to 160, your mass should be somewhere between 63 to 68, OK? This is not from like somewhere. I'm just giving data from my head randomly. So these type of things are known as what? BMI. BMI, yeah. So if in our range, our weight is more than that, OK? That means we are above our weight. If our weight is less than this category, then we are underweight. Underweight. OK, so this is the concept here. Now let's see the questions. Jamal, Muhammad Amir, and Yusuf all weigh 70 kg. How Yusuf 70? Yusuf is very Four. thin. Calculate their BMI and state their mass range. Now a graph is given once again. Mister, you can see the calculation in page one, two, three. Page one, two, three. Yes. And Riyad, uh, Riyad is helping me so much today. Oh, 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 page one, two, three. So BMI is given by mass over height square. Oh. Yeah. Height square, mashallah. Mathematics has entered the chat. So. EMI. What is the meaning of EMI? Who knows that? Body mass index, mister. No, EMI. When you go to extra, BMW. when you go to Jarir, la, when you go to extra Jarir, they give you EMI for six months, for 12 months. Uh, okay. What's that? Baman, Baman. No. Taqsit. The installment that you take. That is known as EMI, easy monthly installment. Do you know that? For example, ah, you yes, want to yes, purchase yes. 10,000 yes, real something. You yes, cannot yes, give I it one not. time. So you yes. give 1,000 real for 10 months. Yes, like that. OK, that ah. amount is, is known ah. as EMI. That amount ah. is known as little, little, little. You pay little, little instead of ah. uh, paying it together at one time. Yes, one that time. little yes. amount is known as EMI. OK, so you can give like 10 EMIs. <laughs> to finish it. If you give five EMIs, yani five times you will pay him the money. Five durations. OK, so in one year, if you are paying every month, how many EMIs do you have? In one year, how many EMIs do you have? What I do? Twelve. Like what? Back to by three? Uh, sorry, back to La, M, M is month. M is month. Monthly. Monthly installment. Okay. Month, uh, what? Monthly installment. Yes, easy monthly installment. Easy monthly installment. So okay. if you have to 24,000 real car, OK? If you want to give EMI for one year, every month, how, oh, yeah. how much real divided, will you pay? Divided by 12, so it will be 2,000 every month. 2,000 2, real for how many EMIs? For 12, 12 EMIs. 12, 12. OK. 12. But if you want to take 24 EMIs, any two years, how much money you have to pay every month? 1,000. Just 1,000. Yes. OK, so it depends on you. If you want to get less EMI, you pay more money. But if you want to get too much EMI, too much time, then you pay very small amount. OK, this is the concept of EMI. Now let's go to BMI, which is body mass index, which is totally different thing. OK, the formula for BMI is given mass. Overweight or two. Height, not weight. Uh, I see. I, I weight. Height square. Like this, OK. So Jameen, height is what? 1.83. So what is the mass of Jameen? 70. So 70 over 1.83. Is it allowed? Yeah, yeah, it's allowed. Only in math, it's allowed. Okay, so for Jamil. Uh, 
it's allowed to take the calculator in our school for the biology cause. I don't know. You have yeah, to tell. Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. I think. That's okay. So the answer will be twenty point nine. And what will be the unit? Because this is uh, mass. It is kg. Over. Uh, this is height, but square. Uh, so it will be what? Kg uh, over. I don't know. La seventy is what? Ma uh, ma seventy is the mass. Kg. Over. Kg per height. Meter, meter, meter. Meter, voila. No one is understanding. No one is understanding. What? Are we taking height or are we taking the square of height? Square of the height. The square of height. So meter square. So this is the unit kilogram per meter square. Okay. This is the unit that we have to write in the exam. The teacher can give you four options. What is the unit of BMI? Okay, so she gives you shawarma, dollar, dirham, and kilogram per meter square. Okay. I will pick shawarma. I will pick shawarma. You will pick shawarma, and the teacher will give you this for that answer. <laughs> So the, she'll give you zero for that. So the answer is 20.9 for Jamil. Okay. What about Yasmin? Yes, Mister, in the question, we will multiply 1.83 with uh, 1.83 no. because yes. it's power right. 2. It's power 2. So you have to do 1.83 multiplied by 1.83 and 70 like that. Yes, okay. But this time we are taking for Yasmin. So the height of Yasmin is different. So her BMI will also be different. So this is the BMI for Jamil. Let me change the color and take black. Okay, for Yasmin. To be Jamal, not Jamil. Ah, then <laughs> Jamal will get offended. Yes. That why are you calling me only seventy kgs? I'm more. <laughs> so it will be yes. So I will not offend Jamal. I don't want to. Be in danger, but Jamal is not responding. Did he sleep? No, he's in uh, the canteen. Oh, <laughs> oh taking uh, apple juice from Joy. Lollipop. <laughs> so, so it will be <laughs> seventy divided by one point five square. Okay, it will be how much? Thirty one point one. What is the unit? Thirty-one point one um, uh, kilogram uh, per meter square. Per per uh, meter square. Okay. More. And no, more. for for uh, Muhammad uh, Amir. Muhammad Salah. Yeah, no. Tell me the BMI for over one point six five. 25.71 Kilo meter per hour. There is B, Mister. Okay, Mr. state but, uh, who is likely to be healthiest and suggest why? Jamil, Mr. Jamil is the healthiest. Jamil, what's Jamil. the reason? Yeah. Because, because it's normal. normal. Because he's the least uh, kilogram. Because he's normal, Mr. How did you decide he's normal? Because in normal, See, Mr. Uh, under the graph. Ah, you mean ah, you mean this one? You mean these ranges? Yeah, yeah. So Jamil is coming between the normal range. Yasmin is coming between the obese range. Yani matrus. And Mo guy is coming between uh, overweight. 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 Yani Jamil is the best. Then second best Mo. Then the third best. 
or best yani <laughs> the worst yasmin ha huh? best from down best from down yes <laughs> uh yani if i check for me let me check my uh my height in centimeter i don't know let me check i know in inches it's 5 feet it's in what centi it's meter okay okay i'm finding wait 5 multiplied by 12 you said i am normal plus 9 i am on the way <laughs> into uh, 2.5 172 okay my height is 172 yani 1.72 divided by my weight oh height height on bottom height at the bottom and my mass at the top something like 73 let me check 73 divided by 1.72 squared i get 24.6 Oh, I'm normal. Normal, normal. Oh, in the half a meter. Very close. <laughs> Very close to overweight. Yes. Oh. Mister, I am nineteen point four. Oh, you are in the starting of normal. <laughs> okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, the time I didn't see. The time is gone, and I have another things. Okay. Uh, give two example of hinge joint and ball and socket joint. Hinge joint in the fingers. And where? The knee. Knee also. The ball and socket joint I know in the in the shoulders and arm. Yeah. Shoulders and the arm. Wait, let me check. What's given in the in the knee, knee, Mister? I think it's knee. It's in one to eight or one to nine. The human skeleton. So the hinge joint, the knee, the knee, elbows knee. and knees are example of hinge joint, but they did not mention yes. the Ball. fingers. Wait, let me check. Finger. The fingers to elbow, knees, and ankle contain hinge joint. Yes. Okay. So fingers are also correct. That the answer that I wrote. So I not erase it. And one more answer I'll take from your book. That is elbow. 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 Um, okay. And ball and socket joint, like your yes, hips and uh, shoulder joint. Okay. Yes. List four function of the human skeleton. Can I okay. share? This one is simple. Protecting the vital organs. Support. Why are you becoming like that? Organs, huh? There is But another guy skull? who says like that. Support. There is skull that protect your brain and support eyes. protection. What else? Movement. Movement and making blood cell. Making blood cell. This is already given in your book, and the details are also given. But here they are not asking. Ah, they are asking functions. You can explain like this in in few statements. Like your structure, you, the bones are so rigid and so strong. They give the support and protection to your body. You know, they give support. If you don't have bones in any animal, for example, it, it will be looking like sponge. Like very squishy, you can easily press it. But if you have bones, it's not easy to crush something. Protection already, you know. 
the That's skull all. protects our brain the rib cage protects our internal organs so like it's protecting also movement okay we have joints yes. so joints yes. help our legs move and to write yes. or to hold something our hands can move from the joints so these are the functions moving why moving blood cell making blood cell moving blood cell bone marrow bone marrow bone marrow making yeah. Yeah, Mr. Uh, make, making blood cells there is bone marrow yes you know what is bone marrow when you have the bones in middle of that yes when you have bones and that one that makes the blood cells. in the middle here you have the bone marrow here and this makes uh, it makes blood blood cells and white blood cells. Let me write it. it. Makes red blood cells and white blood cells. So it creates RBCs and white blood cells. And the last thing, Muscle. describe the structure and function of one of the long bones of the leg. Which is the longest bone in our body? Uh, I don't know. The thigh bone. What is it? From your hips to your knees, that bone. That is also known as femur. I will show you. Femur, yeah. Not femur. Femur. Femur? Mr. We have a femur yeah, in the yeah, book. Mr. Not Neymar. Yes. We femur. have it. We have it. Where? Look. From the hips to the knees. This is the longest yes. bone in our body. This. See? It is so long. Okay. Now describe the structure and function of one of the long bones. So they are asking not the longest, but one of the long bones. Yani. Just we have to describe the function let me check or where is it is muscles and movement no human skeleton no hey i don't understand this mr what disease which one question nine yes a i didn't go to question nine yet question number c you guys have done it already or not no it's missed Mr. You said that's female, the answer. No. What? It's not the answer. That question I asked you just for general knowledge. That question is not related to C. Please. This answer is not related to C. This was extra information. Okay. In C, what are they asking? They are asking one of the long bones. What is the meaning of one of the long bones? It can be the second longest bone in our body. No problem. Yes. OK, so you have to tell the function. What is the function of long bone? So let's take femur. What is the how? What is the structure of femur? And what is the function of femur? So if you give these two, your answer is complete. But let me check where it is given. Describe the circuit function of one of the long bones of the leg. Mm, it's already coming from the book. This question is straight away from the book. I'm searching for the answer. Wait. Uh, the question is from the question. In the book. Yes, the question is from the questions of the book. Yes. yes. We have the answer of the first mistake in the group. I will send you. You are sending me something? I will send it. I will send it. Okay. Here you go. Ah, you sent. Hey. Ah, here. Hey. 
long bones compact bone on the outside hard and strong spongy bone inside keeps them relatively light bone marrow but what was the question the question was same describe the structure and function of one of the long bones of the leg so the function is compact bone on the outside hard and strong and spongy bone inside let me check the diagram first oh i don't have the Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Here. Students, please look at this diagram. Okay. So inside your bone, what is there? It is given here. The outside is very strong, very rigid. The outside boundary, yes. the outside layer. It's very hard. But inside, it's you. spongy. So what is the function of compact bone? It's given. What is the function of spongy bone? It's given. OK, here. Spongy bone, the function is given. Compact bone, the function is given. To it, it remains hard and strong, but inside it keeps them relatively light. Otherwise, the bones will be so heavy, we can't even move it. OK, what else? Now the muscle. Explain how these two joints differ. This one is the and for the percent. knee. Is this for the knee or what? No, and yeah, this is for the knee. Also. The right one. The kneecap. Yeah. Kneecap, yeah. yes. And the left one is looking for the shoulder or what? The ball and hip, socket. Hip, hip. Hip ball. Hip ball. Hip oh ball. yes. Your hip joint is a ball and socket joint. Your knee is a hinge joint. You know, in your doors, there are hinges. This is your room door. Yeah. OK, and this is your. Wall, how is your door fixed? From these hinges, there is something. Yeah, there is something like that. There are some metal. So you can, if you okay. zoom it, if you zoom it, it's like. You have screw, you have screw here. And you have screw here. So it can move. It yeah, can it move can in one direction and if forward and backward only. It cannot rotate. Yes. Yes. yes? It can just go yeah. like here <clears throat> and back. It cannot rotate. That like your fingers. You can bring your finger, like if you have finger. This is your finger. OK, you can okay. just tilt, tilt it forwards. Now Jamal is there. You can tilt it forward. You cannot rotate it in all direction 360 degree. Otherwise, you have to go to doctor. OK, <laughs> so that is. So that's why here we have to explain what is the meaning of ball and socket. And you can rotate it. Ball and okay. socket. Okay. Like but here you the controller of the PS PlayStation 4. You have the joystick. The joystick, can you rotate it only left and right? No, you can move it anywhere. OK, so that PlayStation controller uh, has a ball and socket connection. Now here. But with the, but the knee, it can move only forward and backward. Forward and backward. Yes, knee, yes. Can move, knee cannot move like this left and right. <laughs> you will break your knee, OK? So this is hinge. Yes. Don't. So Xbox so users, ask? Xbox users, please don't get offended huh? because I support PlayStation. So please, bye bye. So, can so I explain, answer, explain how these, it's already answered. Explain how oh. these two joints differ. Ball and socket can rotate also and move forward and backward, but hip joint can move only in one direction, either forward and yeah. backward or left and right. They cannot yeah. rotate. OK, and you can see the reason okay. why, because it is already joined here. If it is already joined, how can it move? in that direction it's restricted and your doors have hinges okay these are the hinges that we have i have given you a zoomed version though this is the zoom version of the hinges okay explain why you need muscles on both sides of these joints to make movement so the other one can work one relaxes other one contracts yes, yes. that's the reason 
Okay, I think we will go now. I think we will finish the call now because uh, I didn't pay attention on the time. Okay, so I'll go. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye. Bye.